When you're on the Rank Math Wizard, you need to set up your Google Search Console and your Google Analytics properly. This is to ensure that your website is indexed and crawled by the search engines, and also that the analytics are fed back to your WordPress website to make it easier for you to analyze how well is your website doing in the ranking tree and you know how the searches are going on. Now, if you leave this on red, you can come back and revisit this later on, but I strongly recommend you go and get this set up now. So what you wanna do is make sure you've already got to this stage of the wizard and it should say your website URL there. Then you wanna go over to Google. Inside of Google Chrome, do a search for Google Search Console and then go and click the link and then go and hit start now. And then you'll be taken over to the Google Search Console page. And this is where it's good to be in Google Chrome because then it saves you having to log in. Now over here in the drop down, you should now see a list of all your websites that you've connected using your current login. Go and find the website that we are now connecting. And I've already done that, so go and hit your drop down. Now if it appears in there, that means your website is now connected and there isn't anything more we need to do. If it wasn't, I would go back to your website, go back to the Rank Math Wizard and just go through and make sure that it is connected to your site because we are gonna return here later on when we have to double check the sitemaps. So why is it still showing as red in the wizard? Well, let's just go and hit reconnect. And it's now asking me to re-choose my account. Well, I've already done that, so why do I need to do it again? Sometimes you do have to go through this. It will either instantly go to green or it goes to red, shows the URL. We'll just hit the reconnect and go through the same stages as before with continue, next, continue until you get to the end. And now it's gone to green. Now, if any stage, it still shows red and you can see the URL. Just go and refresh your page because sometimes it just needs a bit of a push. That is now connected. Now let's go do the second part, which is the analytics. So inside of Google Chrome, go and select Google Analytics. We now need to set up a new property for our new website. And don't forget, if you are using your login for multiple websites, you will see them in the drop down here. Now here's what you need to do. Go to the bottom left cog over here, which looks like settings, but in actual fact, it is admin. Click admin, then go and click plus create and we are gonna create a new account. Give this a name that is relevant to your website. I'm gonna call it Jane Sinclair Architect. Now you don't have to tick through all of these items. Um, I'm actually gonna get rid of loads of these over here and I might just leave recommendations for your business. Let's go and hit next. The reason why I don't like to tick all of them is because then Google will just start sending you loads of marketing. And unless you are gonna invest in Google ads or anything like that, you don't really need to worry about much of them. Now let's go and create a property and I recommend that you just use the same name as your account unless you're gonna have multiple websites for that account. So let's say I had a separate e-commerce domain that was gonna be linked over to Jane Sinclair, you would might go and pop in a different property name, but I'm gonna keep it simple. Then I'm gonna hit next. I'll set my industry category to be home and garden I'm gonna say it's a small business and hit next again. I wanna generate leads, I wanna drive online sales. Go and tick what you want, then click create. Have a quick read, accept the disclaimer. Now this stage is important. Remember, we are using a website, so go and say web for choose a platform. Do not hit skip for now. Then enter in the URL for your website. And I've called it Jane Sinclair website. Give it a name that you will recognize because this is important to ensure everything has gone through. Now let's click create stream. That is now done. Now at this stage, Google Analytics will say, okay, you now need to install a Google tag onto your website. And it's gonna recommend that you go and use a separate WooCommerce plugin, or you could install it manually and go and stick this into a code snippet. However, we are using Rank Math and Rank Math makes this so easy for you. So now that we've done all of this, let's go back over to our website. Don't worry about your search console going red because everything will reconnect in a moment. We go down to analytics and this is where you're gonna see a list of all the websites or accounts that you've got set up on your current Gmail account with Google Analytics. So go here and find your website and I can see it there. I will now select it. Inside a property, I will now see Jane Sinclair Architect. You can create it 
from afresh here, but it's better to follow the steps that I have recommend to make it easier for yourself. Let's select Jane Sinclair Architect and eventually we should see Jane Sinclair website. Remember that was the final thing I added as my name? So I can see that everything is connected. I'm then going to say install the analytics code and this saves me having to do a separate code snippet or using any other additional plugin. Now if I just scroll down, we're not going to use any Google adverts. Uh, if you wanted to, you would go and use Google AdSense and you would add in your account once you've created it. The final thing I would say though, just make sure you got email reports done so that regular stages, you get the analytics sent to you. Of course, if you're logging into your website regularly, you'll see them in your WordPress dashboard. Go and hit save and continue and you will go to the next stage called sitemaps. But what you want to do is use this menu at the top, click analytics. And when you go back, both of them should be in green and you can now see that your search console and your analytics are connected. You won't start to see any proper stats until roughly 48 hours or a tiny bit after that because it needs a bit of time to feed through the system and for people to find you too.